Good morning, everyone. We're super excited about today. Welcome to Local Lifestyles on the new set. I'm Angie Humphrey. <laughs> I'm Ron Rhodes on this new set. Look how big the monitor is right I here. I know. Too. I love it. We're, just, we're going to show you the whole set in just a few minutes today. But on the show today, great deal all the way around. Summertime fun at Mesker Park Zoo. We're going to see what's in store for you in July and August. Downtown Evansville's Main Street will be a party this Saturday. Adam Trinkle gives us the lineup for the next exciting night on Main. Gary Price is an expert in elder law who helps tri-staters understand Medicare and Medicaid. And today we're going to talk about mistakes people commonly make when applying for Medicaid. The EVSC Foundation supports teachers in so many important ways, including professional development programs. And of course, the big surprise, the big reveal, a tour. The yes, that's going to be fantastic. When are we going to do the tour? Is We're going to do soon? the tour right after this first break, but we got to get to the Daily Dish. Oh, we've we've always. Got to get to today's <laughs> Daily Dish. Dish. Well, this week marks the 50th celebration of the Apollo 11 mission to the moon. I remember it very well. The Saturn V rocket launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida and sent Apollo 11 into orbit. Four days later, humans landed on the moon for the very first time. It was Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and that lunar module called Eagle. They yeah. landed on the moon's surface near the Sea of Tranquility. Armstrong said, as we all know, that's one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. Oh, Ron, I remember that day so well. I was yeah. in Murray, Kentucky. Murray, yeah. I was in my first summer uh, at Murray State, uh, at Murray State yeah. and a whole bunch of... Uh, Students gathered at somebody's apartment to to watch it. It was just unbelievable. Yeah, it really was. I don't remember it, but at the same time, it's like I mean, just I know my aunts and uncles. And my and of course, my parents would talk about it too, and just watching it. And they watch Walter Cronkite give it, you know, with all its details. And I think he shed a tear because he it was just such, a, a such an amazing it, but it was, moment. Uh, we've been watching the uh, Chasing the Moon, the documentary that's right. on PBS about all the history. Right, because of I've the been watching program. that too. Right, isn't that interesting? Very. And you saw how the pioneers of the space program, what all they did, you know, the balloons and the, yeah. you know, all, the, all the things that they were putting together in order to get to the moon. It's just an amazing feat for oh, man. And to, th and to think, if you've ever seen one of those uh, capsules, it's... Oh, they're tiny. I mean, like this. I know. You're all just in there. I'd be so anxious they're to get like home. They're like sardines in the can. I know. I know. They're pretty claustrophobic. Oh, we probably had to get on the moon. Yeah. Thank heaven, I'm out. <laughs> this is one small step out of this cramped castle oh, or capsule goodness. for man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Big deal. Yeah, well, was. this is amazing. A giant jellyfish the size of a human has amazed a diver off the coast of England. The biologist was exploring the waters as part of a campaign called Wild Ocean Week. This is a barrel jellyfish, the largest species in the British seas. It's extremely rare to spot. And if I was a diver, I would be grateful for that fact. The, yeah, yeah, the, really. the diver called it breathtaking. My, my breath is taken. That is huge. And you know, they say it's, they're tough to spot. Obviously, once you're around it, it's not because it's so huge. But I guess they're really rare being out there. So, well, what, do they sting? Uh, yeah, I wonder if they do or not. Do you, I think... I don't want to find out. And Look I'll, at the size. I, I didn't know that existed. That's mammoth. It is. Yeah, I thought they were all smaller than that. But, but he's pretty time. close to it, though, isn't he? I love that. Well, they're beautiful, even if they might be a little, <laughs> a little deadly. I don't I'll know. I'll keep my distance <laughs> if I see them in the water. <laughs> well, we go from jellyfish to another oh, yeah, form of animal life. They're two little blue penguins, and they've been stealing the headlines and hearts after being spotted waddling around Wellington City in New Zealand. The pair yes. had to be removed. They're just stubborn little penguins. They had to be removed from a sushi store. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know <laughs> the train station on Monday. Not once, but twice. The penguins made a nest under a food truck, and they were removed one more time. Then they came back, and they had to be removed to get their hungry. Uh, penguins want their sushi. Are you kidding give me? Give them a fish. It must be some pretty good stuff. That is I, so funny. Give them a fish. Well, here's the thing. I mean, once they found a spot where it's just like constant grub coming at you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. They didn't have to go work for it. Why not go right back there? Hey, look. There's plenty of sushi here for us. Oh, my goodness. I, yeah. I, I, do, I guess penguins are naturally occurring in New Zealand. I mean, did they oh. just wander around in <laughs> I guess town? The, I guess those two do. Or is it like when we see a deer in the middle of the city? I wonder. I, th I would think that, you know, they're, they're probably, uh, yeah. 
definitely like deer, where they would probably kind of wander around in the city and, and, surprise, and be surprise kind of pushed. <laughs> well, they made they got they went viral. That's the main thing. Do you I have a poll? It. Are you running a poll? You better believe. It. Okay, That's today is National Corn Fritter Day. Now, corn fritters. I was thinking, what are other kinds of fritters that people might like other than corn fritters? Apple fritters. Apple fritters is one. Yes. Seafood fritter. Uh, you know those penguins would like those seafood fritters, and then or maybe not. <laughs> Look at this. Thirty-five votes. Cheese fritter gets nothing. Absolutely what, what zero. What is a cheese fritter? I've never frittered a like cheese. Like a pimento <laughs> cheese. It'd be a deep fried, I guess, like pimento cheese ball or something like that. I, did you just make that up? Is there I did such a not. thing there as a is cheese? A, we could look that up on Google. Let's see, what else would be a fritter? What makes a fritter a fritter? Just battered and egg and deep fried. It, deep yeah. fried. There you go. It, it's the Nut Club Fall Festival gone wild. That's right. You know, there are plenty of fritters out there at the Fall Festival. Apple fritter is the and one that takes... some of them are even things you eat. <laughs> the other fritters are just people. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's deep fried at the Paul Festival. It certainly is. I think is. they have a deep and fried you know, salad. That's coming up, too. Yeah. Very soon. We'll be out there with our little fritters, too. When we come back, get ready, because we're so excited to show you our beautiful new set. We have been waiting to tell you for weeks on end. Now yes, we get been a while. A behind-the-scenes peek, so stay with us.